The kind of leadership we have in Nigeria is a transactional leadership where people no longer know why the government exists. This were the words of Professor Pat Utomi, leader National Consultative Front on PLUS Politics. The political economist mentioned that leaders up till 1999 were transforming leaders, which was evident in their government, unlike what is seen today. Especially since 19, uh, uh, um, 90, uh, 99, as different, significantly different from the founding fathers and what drew their interest in politics. You will see that like, the Awolowos, the Opalas, uh, were transforming leaders. And you can see the impact in whether it's the key education uh, uh, that Yoruba family Yawala uh, introduced or uh, the competitive communalism that drew the response of the Sudana and the uh, and Opera to some of his youths. So completely different from now, where the transactions are such that, you know, it's me, myself, and I, so what do you do for me, what do I do for you? By the end of it, you have reached a point where you're not even sure why government exists. It's just about what are these guys who have traded off one thing or the other? What are they looking for? What are they asking for? That is possible only when, thank God, the people take ownership and recognize that what has been happening to them is not going to get them anywhere. And this is what I think has happened in Nigeria. The people have taken ownership. Don't forget that this whole thing is driven by the frustration of Nigerian businessmen, the anger of Nigeria's youth, the failure to see the progress Nigeria should make. Take any indicator. Nigeria is at the bottom, literally at the bottom, of just any indicator you can see. Why? Compared to our peers that don't have the factor endowments that we have, that don't have the human capital we have, it's clearly a leadership challenge. And the center of the problem is that it's leadership that is focused on transaction. Traders. You don't vote for me. I come and scrub the road that this is your neighborhood. You do this, you do that. So everything becomes me, myself, and I. Whereas the transforming leader doesn't even think of today. He thinks of the future. And what I see happening in Nigeria today, these transactional leaders, are dividing Nigeria as much as they can. They are creating fake news. They are, you know, trying to dig up some stuff. They have all kinds of sentiments that will prevent Nigeria from going anywhere, just so they can have power. I think that until we can get people who think long term and the greater good of all, we're going to find that we're going to be mad in this 